video i'm going to show you how to create a realistic digital planner completely for free and let's get started so the first thing you are going to want to know is how to add realistic tabs on the side so in this case these are style this is the style but we can add any tabs we want so we're gonna go ahead and create new ones i'm gonna go to shapes and then over here i'm gonna choose this particular shape and then we're gonna create a tab like that after that we're gonna remove the um, line because we don't need it and then you can either add a gradient for example to this tab so let's say it's like that or we can add a different kind of gradient we can create our own so you can completely change how it looks like so we're gonna add this one and then we're gonna turn it 90 degrees like so and then i'm gonna make it a little smaller just adjust the size and once i'm happy i'm just gonna place it over here so this is our first tab and this is how it looks like now we're gonna add more so i'm gonna just duplicate them and the thing is that once I add them like that, they're going to be one on top of the other, as you can see. And I'm just going to add, let's say, five. You can add 12, you can add as many as you want, but we're just going to add five. And then I'm going to align them, so I'm going to distribute them and choose vertically. So now they're all aligned. Now I need to put them under the shape. To create the shape, you can create it the same way, just by creating this one and making it bigger. So like this, and then add it there, and here's your shape. And if you don't like the corners, if they're too big, you can just move this thing and this yellow, I don't know how to call it, but you see it. So, and here it is, your planner is ready. I'm going to delete this, I'm going to keep that one, and I'm going to put it to the front. So again, we can right click, order and then go bring to front and here we have it and the only thing is that i lost my text but you can uh, either bring them both to front or you can add a new text whatever so let's just add that to the front and then i'm gonna add the links so i've already created these slides but to create a slide you will just go for example slide new slide and that's it then you just delete these parts and I'm going to show you how to create the actual open book. So basically, we're going to use the same shape. So throughout, so this one. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. And then I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm also going to change the roundness of this because that just doesn't look very realistic to me. So here it is. And now our planner is actually going to be white color so i mean white page so we're gonna go here and then i already have some pre-made but for you to make it again you would just click here and then choose the colors by clicking it on it and then changing the color so let's make it even brighter and then you can change how the page how the light is going for example you like this one or this one or whichever and you just click ok so here it is, here's the page, and you can make it as bright or, you know. So then I just copy the same page, and then I'm going to turn it. So you can either rotate it like that, so we can flip horizontally. And then I have two pages ready for me. I still feel like the light doesn't isn't as realistic as I would like. So I'm going to change this, and I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to make sure that i like how it floats so one of the things i noticed that if it's radial it looks a little more realistic so we're gonna go see which one looks good and as you can see you can see it here so for example i like this one i like that the front um, the top is white and then this is gray so like that and i like it now this background we're gonna change so we can either change the background color uh, let's say do something gray for now and that's it but we can also add an image so you can actually create uh, backgrounds in canva and then add it here you can also create all of these pages in canva and just add them as an image but for me this is easier now i messed it up let me go back and let's move 
both of these at the same time. Now, one thing I really want to add is actually a drop shadow to create a more realistic feel to this. So the way to add the drop shadow is to go to format options and just click drop shadow. Immediately you're gonna apply some kind of drop shadow. If you want, you can adjust this as well. So let's say you want more blur, I can add it like that. Um, but honestly, the way it was was fine. Now it's just loading, so let's reload the page because it's not like that, I promise. It's like this, okay? So this is how it looks like, but I'm gonna go back to the other. And again, we can always change the little corners uh, by clicking the yellow thing. And that way I think it's nicer if it's a little rounded. And then the pages as well, I don't like to make them completely the same. So we're gonna go to format options. And for example, if I remove, let's remove the drop shadow for a little bit. And let's add a little bit less, um, make it less transparent. I mean, more transparent. And I think that's gonna fix it. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I just need to reload because of my computer, because of my computer. And now I have my pages. Now, if you want to create kind of like a book feel, uh, what you can do is you just duplicate this page and you add it on top. So this way, as you can see, I can create little pages behind it. And if I can add as many as I want. So for example, I can add three. So here it is, and we have that look that it looks like if you have multiple pages. And you can do the same here. So if I go copy and paste, I will be able to add more. And that's basically it. So it's very easy to add those kinds of pages. And now one other thing I'm gonna mention is that we want to add tabs. So a lot of people like those tabs where they flip as the page flips. So basically we're gonna copy the same tab we had here. I'm gonna delete these. And I'm just gonna copy, let's say all of them. And then I'm gonna create them, add them here. So I can move them and I can add them to the first page like this. Uh, and I can make the other ones go behind one page. So I'm going to select them and then order them to go back and even more back. Let's do order back. And it's actually useful to know the shortcuts that you can see here because it's kind of a pain to do it one by one. But if you know the shortcut, you can do it uh, multiple times. And as you can see now, one page is here in the front. And you can even create as many pages so that you could have each tab lower. So like that. And then the other ones even lower like that. So as you can see now, it has that look that it's like each page has it. If that's what you're looking for. I'm going to just um, make it a little more simple. So this is the first one. We're going to bring it to front. So it's the you know it's at the top and then these ones are behind now what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this slide and we're gonna paste it and once i'm in slide three i can move this so actually if this is at the top i'm gonna move it to the side i'm holding shift to do that and then i'm gonna turn it so again we're gonna go rotate and flip horizontally so now it's flipped and it's on that side and it still needs to go a little bit more so we're going to do that and just move it to the side so now it looks like once i'm pa on page on this page i can see it flipped and then uh so then when i finish that i'm going to copy this paste and now i'm going to move the second page so again we're going to do the same thing we're going to move it like that and then you can flip uh, rotate uh, like that and you can put it at the top now so this one we're going to send to back order sent uh, backward let's move it a little bit back and then this one is going to be completely at the top so like that so here it is and it looks like this page was flipped and 
kind of has that flipping effect. Now the annoying part is, and I know what you're going to say, is that you do need to add links uh, individually. There's no shortcuts to this. If you only had the tabs on this side, you could actually add them very easily and automatically by using master pages. And I have a video on that if you want to look and check it out. But for this uh, kind of flipping effect, I haven't found a better method and that's what I can offer you. So then you would copy this page and basically repeat the process like that. And once you have all of the pages uh, ready, so again, we're gonna rotate horizontally and bring it to the front. And this one we bring it down like that. Uh, once you have all of them ready, this is what you do. So you go to the first one and let's say this one uh, is, I mean, it's page two, so I don't even need to link it, but let's go here. And then here I'm going to click on that and I'm going to link and then I'm going to type in either you can type in first slide, but I like to type in slide two. So that's it. And then this one, I don't need to do anything because we're on it. But these three, we would add links as well. And then same way here, I will add slide two here, slide two. And then this one is gonna be slide three. And that's the process. And that's it. That's how you add the tabs and that's how you create the realistic pages. And then you can add these cool things like images, for example, that link to a specific slide. So same way. You just click on it and it links to the slide. I like to add these because I think it's nice to have your index page more interesting. And that's it for this video. If you want to get this particular planner, you can get a template for Google Slides and just buy that. It's already going to have these tabs for you. You can find them in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.